welcome back to my channel guys today we're making a cooking video and as you can see we are making seasonal rice so if you want to know how to make this stay tuned we're cooking it up with Lance go in the kitchen yeah yeah we're cooking it up with Lance go in the kitchen yeah 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 all right guys so as you heard before, we're making seasoned rice today. So I have some pumpkin, some anki, and I have my seasonings well cut up in a nice little bowl. And I can't forget the main ingredient. We're using tin mackerel. That's right, dirty girl. That's right, tin mackerel. And we're using that today to make our seasoned rice. So in a pot, I added some vegetable oil, and I'm gonna add my seasoning. So I have onion, tomato, green bell pepper, and a little scotch bonnet just to provide some heat, you know? And we're gonna just fry this up or saute them up for about a good minute or so until the veggies are a bit soft, right? Because you want to develop some flavor because you know, mackerel is kind of boring on, on its own. So you want to add some, some flavor, some depth, some spice, you understand? So you want, to, you want to make sure you don't get these seasonings to burn in You don't want it to burn up. If they burn, it's not going to be good. It's going to be bitter. And we don't want that, right? So once the vegetables are cooked or, you know, completely sautéed, we're going to go ahead and add our mackerel. So adding, I'm adding three things because I'm making a lot today. And guys, I mean, I feel like every oh, Jamaican household at some point in time has had a seasoned rice. And everybody is supposed to know how to cook mackerel. So it's not, it's not too hard, right? So you want to just fry the market with the seasonings for about a good minute or so. And they want to add your black pepper to it because they can't have mackerel and add black pepper to it. I mean, that's just tradition, right? So once the mackerel is cooking down, we're going to add our pumpkin to it. And guys, when you're adding your pumpkin or whatever vegetable you want to use, make sure that, that they are all similar sizes because you want the cook time to be the same for each. So you don't want to cut some big and some small because that will affect the cook time. Some will cook faster than some and you don't want that, right? So for today, I, I'm, I, for today, <laughs> for today, I'm using pumpkin and aki as my vegetables for my um season rice you can add whatever you want it's really up to you but i like aki and i like pumpkin in my season rice which is why i'm adding it okay so i'm just mixing them together giving each vegetable a time to kind of like you know blend through or cook through and get some other flavor from the seasoning that we added earlier and then i'm gonna add my water so depending on how many people you how much people you're cooking this for you may add more water or less and that depends on the amount of rice you're cooking so i'm cooking two pounds of rice so i added one and a quart one and a half quarts of water to the pot all right so you want to stir that round and guys you want to add some bay leaf yes add bay leaf to it because you want to develop flavor and you want to add some pimento i mean pimento is a thing you're adding to everything 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 you cook is supposed to get at least some pimento in it because that is all spice and the food tastes good so um we're gonna also add a green pepper to this and i have a secret one guys so i'm adding maggie soup it up because guys this adds some extra flavor i don't know why but when i add it to the pot may i tell you so the food never normal it was so tasty it was so you know so yeah i'm adding a green pepper to the pot as well just to add some more flavor because we want to build flavor right so I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this for about 10 minutes until the pumpkin and the ackee is fully cooked through. Alright guys, so now we're going ahead and washing our rice. So I'm using brown rice today. You can use white rice if you want, but I'm using brown rice. Now guys, when you're washing your rice, you want to ensure it's not cloudy. If it's cloudy, that means it wants to wash it a bit longer, right? So you want to wash the rice until the water is basically clear. When the water is clear, that would indicate that you have um, removed all of the excess starch from the rice. Trust me guys, if you have washed rice and it's it, it not clear, the water is still cloudy, Bad, 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 bad. You have to make sure so the water is clear. You understand? And then you can go ahead and put the rice into the pot. 
before you put the rice in the pot though you want to make sure the pumpkin and the ackee is cooked through so as you can see here i'm tasting it with a fork and the pumpkin is soft it's basically cooked through and it's ready for the rice before you add the rice guys you want to also add your salt to the pot you want to you want to add the salt to the pot and give the mixture a time to dissolve the salt properly before you add the rice because you don't want when you add the rice it doesn't get distributed correctly throughout and then you have some part some part of the mixture salty and then some part fresh you want it to have an even distribution so you want to add the salt and just make sure that you mix it so the salt granules dissolve before you add the rice now after you do that now you can add the rice to the pot right so you want to ensure that when you add the rice you stir the mixture completely right because you know what when you add the mixture to the pot some of the rice is heavily on one side while it's not on the other you want an even distribution all right i must feel like everybody's supposed to know how to cook rice because i mean we're all jamaicans or most of us here so like cooking rice is supposed to be something that you do on a daily basis because jamaicans will love rice you understand and for those who are new and have never cooked before no worry yourself it's easy easy once you follow these simple steps anybody i mean anybody can make this this is really simple one of the easiest things you can make and it's only one pot you use so let's play it for wash up right let's work easy 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 guys i mean easy look at this easy and look how guys look at how rich and how glossy this pot is looking right now so you want to go ahead and cover the pot for about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes depending on how long the rice will take to cook so white rice cook a little bit faster than brown rice so it depends on the rice you're cooking and so on so you want to also add some time guys adding the time to the pot my tennis say adding the time to this pot gave this food this rice this seasoned rice an extra oomph my tennis say adding this adding the time to this pot gave this thing an extra like boom uh, it, it give, it a, it give it a buzz the rice did have a buzz me i tell you guys so you have to go ahead and yeah if you don't, if you have not tried no other video i've done on here on youtube try this video it's quick it's easy and it's simple and anybody i'm gonna say anybody i mean anybody can do this it's really easy guys so go ahead and try it if you've already tried something similar to this let me know down below in the comments right and guys when you're cooking rice it's essential i cannot stress this enough it's essential to go ahead and turn down the stove because if the, if the um because if the pot is too high it's gonna burn the rice and it won't cook too properly so turn on the stove and once the rice is done it should look like this and guys tell me that this not look good tell me this not look good guys my mouth is watering right now thinking about the how good how good this did taste so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and turn on the post notifications and i'll see you in my next one until next time see you guys later bye